I'm Shamumi Jones, and uh, we are here sous vide a pork butt. Um, I have a long relationship with Heritage. It started many years ago when I was sous chef at the Spotted Pig. I ordered all my whole pigs from Heritage uh, for a few years, had a good relationship with Patrick, and um, just always supported your guys' message of sustainable agriculture. Uh, I choose Heritage because I love meat. I think that uh, you can have a totally healthy diet, which includes meat, especially if you're conscious about where that meat is coming from. And also, I like supporting Heritage breeds because if we don't support them and we don't eat this meat and we don't buy it, uh, it, these breeds will go extinct and it's really important to us to have a diversification of different types of meats and genes and, and strains. This, uh, this is actually a half of a pork butt. I cut it in half because I'm serving six to eight people and what you would typically do is do um, a half pound or pound per person. So um, that's why we're doing half. And um, the shoulder, this actually comes, although this is called the pork butt, it actually comes from the shoulder. It comes from the top of the shoulder. So it's kind of counterintuitive name, um, but there's some history behind how it got its name. So first things first, we're going to set our water bath at 165 degrees. We're gonna let it warm up to temperature. We're going to then rub our meat with our spice rub, and then we're gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke. We're gonna vacuum seal it. And then when our water's up to temp, we're going to drop the butt in here and we're gonna forget about it for 24 hours. All right, so we're gonna start out with our rub. This is a Texas barbecue rub, because that's my favorite kind of barbecue. So you don't want to just, you want to rub this into the meat. That's a very important step. And that's it. Um, folding, we're going to fold the bag over. We're folding the bag over so that um, we don't get anything on here where our seal is going to go. I'm gonna put liquid smoke in the bottom of the bag. You just need a little bit, this stuff is really powerful. Okay, I'm just gonna go just a little tiny bit in the bag. Yep, a couple of drops of liquid smoke. You don't need a lot because it's very powerful. And this meat already has really good flavor because it's heritage, so you don't need to get crazy. All right, so we got a couple drops of liquid smoke in the bottom of the bag. We have our Texas barbecue rubbed uh, Boston butt. And now we're gonna vacuum seal it on the dry setting. Um, again, if you have a Ziploc bag, you can use that too. Um, so there's two settings on your sealer. There's, there's moist and there's dry. Because we rubbed this, it's, it's very dry. So we're, we're gonna do the dry setting and get as much of the air out as possible. Yeah, so this is a great thing to do. Um, I, I sous vide a lot of things and it's a great thing to do if you're gonna have dinner guests because you can prep all your other stuff while whatever you got is just cooking in there. So I, you know, salmon or shrimp, it's gonna be like 15 minutes in there. Um, steak's gonna be like an hour in there. And then you can prep all your sides and everything. Like you can make all your coleslaw and potato salad and whatever you're having with this. And um, this just sits in there until you're ready. And you can also, um, you can do it the day before and then you can put it in the fridge and then warm it up at, on like 140 and for an hour so it's ready the next day too. So the, this is a, a little tip about f putting water in here since this is a large piece of meat. Um, I went just above the minimum line because I know a lot of water is going to be displaced when I put this in here and uh, you don't want to put it in and have, have it overflow so just fill above the minimum line. And now we got, um, our water bath is uh, preheated to 165. So we're gonna drop this in. Yeah, see how much the water comes up? And we're gonna use tongs, don't use your hands. <laughs> okay, we're gonna push the meat below the water surface till it's fully submerged. And as it cooks, it's um, gonna lose a little bit of volume. It'll turn into liquid. So if it floats back up, put a plate on it and then let it cook for 24 hours. So we'll see how much, a lot of liquid, a lot of liquid. We're gonna save it. 
is you can always save the liquid, make a sauce out of it. Um, I would suggest separating the fat out first, or you can you know, use it for something else or you don't have to use it at all. But generally in, in, in cooking sous vide, you always save the liquid. All right, so you can already see it coming apart. Um, we'll just break into this little piece right here. I'm gonna move this. This is nice and tender after you're cooking. So because we did um, 165, we have a nice um, pull apart texture, pulled texture for pulled pork. Um, if you wanted to do more something more sliceable and not pulled pork, you would do 145 for the same 24 hours. But this is 165, 24 hours. All right, Heritage Boston Butt, cooked using the sous vide method. I'm Shibumi Jones, at least that's my name online. That's what I go by, so look for me out there. That's how you can find me. And um, I love using the sous vide method. I use it all the time. And so uh, I appreciate being able to share that with you guys today. Thanks for joining us.